Alright guys, video number three, which I said that video number three was going to be the finished product, but I guess not. I'm going to make a video how I did the retouch the white walls. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Um, I did not use white wall paint or the white wall that you guys buy at, you know, hardware store, AutoZone, you know, for white walls. I use indoor, outdoor house paint. <laughs> so... What I did, first I painted this one right here, the one that I'm showing you guys right now. I retouched these full flat because I wanted to get all the cracks and everything. I left it 24 hours outside and it was chilly. All right, so I left it 24 hours, brought it in the next day, filled them up with air and then I retouched them again. I only did it twice flat and twice were there so right now this is the last touch I'm gonna do and it came out perfect no cracks with the air and nothing on it all right so these are old tires they look like brand new this one I just retouched it today again so I left this one out 24 hours I just retouched it right now this is the one so I gotta do another one. but if you guys can see this is the finished product right here all right no cracks at all and this is already they already have full air on them both of them all right i believe this one was flat what i did on the back i used uh flex glue you know what, what comes on in tv just to let me show you guys right now let me flip one of these tires i believe it was this one right here because one of the tires was real bad on the rear side it was in holding air because it was losing the rubber and everything. Just these were sitting, sitting, you know, on the car since like almost 30 years. All right, so these are the actual original tires from the 1950. All right, these are the original tires that came on the on the Studebaker. All right, so I didn't want to buy new ones. I wanted to keep the original ones. All right, so I'm gonna flip one of these. I believe is. I believe it's this one right here all right so what I did uh, you know what so what I did I bought uh, I think it's flex glue the one that comes in the commercial I don't know where I left the bottle at but uh, I flipped it you know I covered it let me show you guys the bottle oh here we go right here oh flex sealed so this is what I use guys right here I use flex seal liquid to cover the cracks on that tire over there all right let me show you guys let me flip the tire and then i'll show you so i'll come back right now guys all right guys if you guys could see the shiny rubber that's the flex glue right all right guys if you guys could see the shiny right there on the back of the tire let me see if it'll focus Right there on the back of the tire, that's the flex seal. Right there, all around it. So what I did, because it had a lot of, you guys can see, the rubber on the back was peeling already. So I, I you know, I know you guys see rust here. I'm not gonna clean the back, cause you know, it's not even gonna show, but. So I covered it with flex seal. Now, I let that one dry for 48 hours also when I was painting the wire wall. So right now, what I liked about the flex seal and I didn't use the Gorilla is because the Gorilla sticks, it's like crazy glue. If it stretches, it's gonna pop. Flex seal, it's rubberish. All right, so it's like second strongest, I guess, of the Gorilla glue, all right? But what I like about this one, that it stretches. So right now it has air and it stretches. So what I did, I put air, um, took the air out, air like twice, all right? So right now it's holding already. It's not gonna pop, it's not gonna explode, nothing. Because it's holding air. Alright? That one is pretty good solid on the on the rear side. But yeah guys, I just wanted to you know pop a quick video how the tires are going. And now uh, let me show you guys. I put the bullet on. This is what I did. Does not look like pennywise neither, right? So I painted it red also. It's gonna come out dope. It's gonna come out looking nice. It's done already. All right, so the tires, you know, I put that one. 
but but here you go guys this video was based on these tires but uh let me know what you guys think you know just making and this is house paint all right i use house paint on these all right so i guess you know why wall paint and house paint are the same you know if you guys check uh, the label on the back i think it's the same thing because it hold left it two days outside in the cold never cracked put air never cracked i still did two coats on it after that one too and it's still holding and that's what i need because it's going to be all inside you know it's not, i'm not going to ride them and everything so it's going to be for display but all right guys let me know what you guys think and bam hopefully part four it's actually the final but i doubt it like subscribe guys peace